five, now two laps remain. White flag will be out next time, and there's trouble on the front straightaway. Buckshot Jones is involved. Kevin LaFage as well. Here comes the, uh, the finisher. White and the yellow away. And this race will end under caution. Cam Fidoa will win the Lightos.com 300, his second win of 1998. One more lap in the Miami 300. Gordon's lead would appear somewhat safe, but he can't afford a slip. Well, with Jay Sauter with these slow cars, make a difference. Mark Martin driving on the paper in the racetrack. Don't get in the dirt. There's no grip there, Mark. Half a lap to go. Jay Sauter still up there. They go by Ron Young, and that's not a problem. Turn for the last time they're coming up. Martin trying to catch Gordon for a final victory if he can. Here they come off of turn number four to the checkered flag. He's not going to be able to do it. Jeff Gordon is going to win the Miami 300 over Mark Martin in both drivers' final event in the NASCAR Bush. Uh-oh, they're Come on, look at inside. Jeff Green is out of gas. The leader's out of gas. And the championship goes away as Green runs out of fuel on that black day. got into the wall. Kenny Wallace is the leader. First win for Kenny Wallace since 1990. To find a sponsor for that team and Jamie McMurray racing for an owner who doesn't White care flag. about points, just about winning. And he White has flag. a pretty good cushion behind him so he can kind of feel taught out right here. He can overdrive his race car and he can, he can get by with it. Todd can get off that corner just a little bit better than McMurray can, but McMurray's going to be tough down here in three and four now. That's where he's been tough all day, getting off into turn three. He's going to close the gap, but it's, it's, I think it's going to be too little too late. He's there, but he can't make the pass. Trying he got on a the fight outside. on the last side, just like yesterday. Here they come at the track. Wow. And it's McMurray. No, it's not. It's Buda. Not going to die. Jamie slides across to finish second. see a Bush Series regular win another Bush Series race, but this is more important than that. A part-time guy with a rookie driver, this is absolutely incredible. Guys like the New York Jets beating the Baltimore Coats in Super Bowl number three. David has truly beat the Goliath of NASCAR Bush Series races. David, get Carl Edwards has got his mirrors full. He's a little bit loose on the two. He oh, sides Carl Edwards is around. And he got turned. Oh, Caution flag is out. Twenty second NASCAR Bush Series win for Dale Earnhardt Jr. The victory lane. And though we waited down here to see who would actually be ushered into victory lane, it was Dale Earnhardt Jr. Okay, so and this time the white flag. One lap remaining here at Memphis. What started out as a 250 lap affair has turned into a day long marathon. And we've got a spin, a landing castle. They'll go to the finish. This one will end as here he comes to the checkered flag. You got it, D. Rude. You're the man, baby. David Ruderman winning for the first time. White 
flag one and a half miles to the checker flag. Now it's time. If you got it, you got to show it. Let's see what Hamlin can do. Danny just got a vomit into turn three. Go! Oh. And the seven car, heavy contact, and that'll, that race is over. Once the uh, green-white checkered, if there's a yellow, the race ends immediately by virtue of scoring on the racetrack, and Kyle Busch will be the winner here. Looks like fi somebody finally stopped the Gibbs, uh, Gibbs cars here. Yeah, the Toyotas are still hot out there right now. He's, he can hold him off through these next two corners. Remember, it was the last corner of the last lap last year. One little mistake that cost Marcus Ambrose right the win and allowed Carl Edwards to go Here by. He Here's Pappas inside of Boris. He got him. him. Boris going to try the crossover. Clear, clear. Pappas over the curves. Here comes Boris said, drag racing to the finish line, side by side. Who's going to get here first? It is, I think Boris, Boris said. I think he got him by a bumper. Right on the bumper. Clint Boyer, does he make history? Dale Earnhardt Jr., or does Clint Boyer win? And here comes Tony Stewart. He's getting the push from Castle. Coming out of four. This is really going to okay, be close. Okay, here goes Junior to the inside. Junior to right, the inside. Inside, inside. Boyer takes the lead and pulls it oh. in at the stripe. It's Boyer. Stewart. 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 Looks like Dillon's going to have the momentum. Where does Stenhouse pull out to try to make the move for the for the win, though? He doesn't want the one to win. If the 43 stays tucked up to the three, they'll have a chance here. And watch for the six to pull out and make a move to try and win it himself. Here they come. Checkered flag is in the air. Who's going to win it? Oh, trouble. Austin Dillon spins. Kurt Busch wins. Talent and the potential is now being realized. More lap traffic, but white flag for Kyle Larson. You talk about what he's been able to do in a place like Charlotte. You want a driver who can handle a racetrack with age and character? Call the 21-year-old. He did it in his home state of California. Kyle Larson is going to repeat today. Kyle Larson wins the History 300 at Charlotte.